The bomb cyclone that swept through Nebraska in mid-March started with heavy rainfall and rapid snowmelt. That caused catastrophic flooding across the Missouri River Basin, and three-fourths of Nebraska's 93 counties declared an emergency, including Sarpy County. Nebraska's governor estimated that more than 2,000 homes and 340 businesses were damaged or destroyed by the flood at a cost of $85 million. Fontenelle Forest and Neal Woods were not spared, and the majority of the forest's trails were damaged. The land stewardship team estimated that it may be summer before cleanup can begin, and estimations of damage got underway at the end of March when flooding receded. The Gifford Wetlands Memorial Boardwalk has come apart in places, and the Learning Center has been deemed uninhabitable. The trails may not look the way they did before. For instance, Stream Trail Bridge has been pushed into the marsh, and the land itself may grow to look completely different. If there's a high level of contamination, experts are concerned with it moving up the food chain to larger animals. Only time will tell. All education programs that took place in the wetlands, from pond dipping to canoeing to summer camps, have all been moved to other areas of the forest, and the education team has reorganized summer camps. With trails still underwater and more flooding risks this spring, the land stewardship team is making plans for cleanup and recovery this summer. With your support, we can implement trail repairs across 2,000 acres at Fontenelle Forest and Neal Woods. We can make repairs to the Hitchcock Wetlands Learning Center and the Wetlands Boardwalk so that programs can take place there again. And we can conduct emergency land management for unsafe and downed trees that threaten hiker safety on the trails. Will you help us guarantee that everyone in our community can experience the quiet wild of nature? Please make a donation to Fontenelle Forest for Omaha Gibbs.